taboo in the world of sport, but one likely to catch on. Corona was only one of many destroyers taking part in the combined home and Mediterranean fleet exercises, the first of the kind held since the war. It wasn't just a fair weather cruise in the Mediterranean, as you see. More destroyers at work during the manoeuvres. Roughly, these were the attempt of a raiding task force under Rear Admiral Mountbatten to join up with a second enemy force under Vice Admiral Douglas Pennant in the aircraft carrier Triumph, seen here in company with Theseus. Naval forces commanded by Vice Admiral Russell in Duke of York had the task of defeating the enemy plan and bringing them to battle. The aircraft carrier Implacable took no part in the engagement, but the Commander-in-Chief was on board watching the exercises. And in any case, pilots and aircraft, which included firebrands and twin-engine sea hornets, were kept pretty busy. Pictures with their impression of planes taking off and landing on imply no doubt that in modern naval warfare, carriers and their aircraft still have priority value. CNC home fleet, Admiral Sir Roderick McGregor, had occasion to transfer to the destroyer Agincourt. This is the way it was done. Safely on board, his flag is hoisted to be worn during his stay in the destroyer. Altogether, it must have been as satisfactory to the Royal Navy, as indeed it is to the people of Britain, to have sizable fleets at work again. Our final view of the exercises shows warships returning to Gibraltar. Here we are in Implacable, followed by Vanguard, which also had a watching brief, so to speak, during the manoeuvres. As for the harbour of Jib, that was a fine sight, with two battleships, seven cruisers, three carriers and many other ships in port. And some of the admirals, Russell, Douglas Pennant, Mountbatten and Power, meeting to confer on the lessons of the exercises.